Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss another important problem from maxima and minima. So here uh, we will solve this problem in which we have to find uh, alpha where alpha is uh, it belongs to the set of real numbers. If the maximum value of this function y is equal to 1 over uh, 4x square plus 2x plus 1 is alpha plus 1 over alpha minus 1. Right. So here uh, we are given a function uh, y of x and here uh, the maximum value of this function is given as alpha plus 1 over alpha minus 1 where alpha is, is to be uh, calculated. Right. So uh, here uh, to solve this problem uh, we will make use of uh, the second derivative test uh, to get maxima and minima. So here uh, let us uh, assume uh, this quadratic function as uh, z, right? So z is a function of x, so we can uh, take z is equal to 4x square plus 2x plus 1 so that our uh, function y, it becomes 1 over uh, z, right? Now uh, we will find out uh, the values of uh, x for which this function z is maximum or minimum uh, and with the help of those values we can uh, decide that uh, the function y is maximum or minimum uh, for what values of x, right? So here uh, if uh, this function uh, z is maximum then uh, our function y uh, should be a minimum, right? So this is the concept we are uh, going to use here. When this function z is maximum, then y is minimum. And similarly, if z is minimum, uh, then uh, y is uh, maximum, right? So let us find out the values of x for which this function z is maximum or minimum. So let us differentiate z with respect to x. So dz over dx is 4 times the derivative of x square that is 2x and here uh, we have 2. The derivative of x is 1. The derivative of 1 is 0. So we have 8x plus 2. Right. So the first derivative of z with respect to x is 8x plus 2. Let us find out the second derivative. So the second derivative of z with respect to x is 8 times 1 because the derivative of x is 1 and the derivative of 2 is 0 being a constant. So here the second derivative is equal to 8 that is positive 8. And the second derivative is always going to be greater than 0 for uh, all values of x, right? Now, uh, for uh, z to be uh, maximum or minimum, uh, what we do, we uh, put uh, the first derivative equal to 0 and we solve this equation for x. So we have 8x plus 2 is equal to 0. So 8x is equal to minus 2. Taking 2 to the uh, right hand side, we have x is minus 2 over 8. That is x is minus 1 over 4. So here our critical point or the turning point is x is equal to minus 4. And we have to uh, decide uh, the uh, value of z to be maximum or minimum at this values, uh, value of x using the second derivative test. So the second uh, derivative test uh, says that uh, derivative uh, test uh, states that if the second derivative is uh, less than 0 that is negative then uh, z is uh, maximum. And if the second derivative is positive, that is greater than 0, then z is a minimum, right? So let us take x is equal to minus 4 in this expression. That is, uh, the second derivative is equal to 8, 
right now see the second derivative is independent of x because this is a constant here right so the value of the second derivative at this point that is x is equal to minus 4 it remains 8 and 8 is positive that is greater than 0 so this point is a point of a minima right so this is a point of minima due to the second derivative test because the second derivative is greater than 0 uh, if when uh, z is minimum. So this function z which is a quadratic function uh, z is a minimum at x is equal to minus 1 over 4. So let us find out the minimum value uh, of z here. So z minimum is given by uh, 4 and here we have minus 1 over 4 square plus 2 times minus 1 over 4 uh, plus 1. So taking x is equal to minus 1 by 4. So we have 4 here we have 1 over 16 and here we have minus 2 by 4 plus 1. This is 4 times 4. So we have 1 over 4 minus 2 by 4 plus 1. So this is 1 minus 2 over 4 plus 1 that is minus 1 over 4 plus 1 that is minus 1 plus 4 over 4 that is 3 by 4. So the minimum value of uh, z at x is equal to minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4. So now z is a minimum and we have y is equal to 1 over z. So when z is minimum, then y is a maximum, right? So the value of the maximum value of y is equal to 1 over z minimum. And this minimum occurs at minus 1 over 4, that is 1 over z minimum is 3 by 4. So we have 4 over 3, right? So y is maximum uh, at uh, this point that is x is equal to minus 4 and the maximum value of uh, y uh, is equal to 4 over 3, right? And here uh, we are given that the maximum value of this function is alpha plus 1 over alpha minus 1. So we are given y maximum is equal to alpha plus 1 over alpha minus 1. So let us equate uh, these two quantities because y maximum is 4 over 3. y maximum is given to be uh, alpha plus 1 over alpha minus 1. So equating uh, these two quantities, we can uh, now frame uh, a linear equation in uh, alpha. So now to get the value of alpha uh, cross multiplying here, we have 3 times alpha plus 1. Here we have 4 times alpha minus 1. So we have 3 alpha plus 3 that is equal to 4 alpha minus 4 that is 3 alpha taking 4 alpha to this side and 3 to this side we have minus 3. So we have minus alpha equal to minus 7 and minus and minus get cancelled so we have alpha is equal to 7 right so the required value of alpha uh, is equal to 7 so here the maximum value of this function y is given as this alpha plus 1 over alpha minus 1 we have obtained y maximum as 4 over 3 so equating these two uh, we solve this equation and we get alpha is equal to 7 right so yes this is how uh, we can solve uh, this problem and here uh, always remember uh, whenever uh, we have a function say y is equal to uh, 1 over z where z is some function of x then uh, z is uh, if z is maximum then y is minimum and when uh, z is minimum then y is maximum so here uh, we have uh, the second case because this z is minimum at x is equal to minus 1 by 4.